How do bees work in Minecraft? What do they do? Well, we're gonna find out. So, here I'm in my Minecraft survival world, where I've already made a beehive right here from bees from a bee nest over there. So, we're not gonna see any bees for now because the time of day. So, right now, I'm gonna fast forward so it's daytime. Okay, it's daytime now. It was early morning, but now it's more midday, so the, so the bees have come out. And they're going about foraging and doing their normal stuff. Now, to discuss more about these bees, we're actually going to first come over here to the bee nest that I found earlier. So the bee nest is what you find naturally. The beehive is what you craft. Now, what the bees do and how they work is they have these bee nests that they kind of have as their home. And you come to different biomes like plains or flower forest. Those are the two best places to find these bee nests. And they're always typically under some of these oak trees. Now this fire is not natural. I put that there myself. And what it does is this fire underneath it calms the bees in the nest so they don't get mad at you. And so um, the bees will then live in here and they typically spawn one to three bees. I think, is there only one here? I only see one bee. There used to be three. I feel like they, something keeps happening to him. I'm not sure. Maybe they run away. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's just in the bee nest. And what they'll do is they'll periodically go around finding flowers of any kind. So any kind of flower, even sunflowers. They'll hover around them for a little while. And then their texture will change to have white spots on them, which means they're pollinated and then they'll take that back with them to the bee nest. Then they'll come back out again, find a flower, get some pollen, come back. And then after a while of doing that, eventually this thing will fill up with honey. Now these two dots right here are typically black. When it's yellow, it has honey. So then you can take shears or a bottle and click, right click on it. And then as long as you have this fire underneath, they won't get mad at you. So if I take shears, right click, I will get Honeycomb, if I right-click it with a bottle, I will get honey. And then it will reset this back to empty, and then the bees will keep filling up again. Okay, so now you know how that works. Now there's another aspect of how bees work, and this is about pollination and cropping. So let's come over here to this crop that I have built, where I have now my beehive. Oh, sorry, a little glitch there. See, there's a bee. And the way I got this bee over here in a previous video when I was working on this is I took some leads and I pulled them over here and then I kept the baby. And the baby's made a home here. There's one. There should be at least two. It's not already in there, is it? Hmm. I seem to be having a problem keeping bees alive. Okay, so did you see it just barely go in there? It's because it was full of pollen. But see how these areas of these crops look a little bit different? Like more grown than the other ones? Maybe you can't. Well, what happens here is the bees will come looking for flowers, the nearest ones they can find, and then they'll go back to their home, which in this case is the beehive. Now, if you have a crop underneath, when the bee hovers over it, it will pollinate it, making it grow fast, effectively doing the same thing as bone meal. Pretty cool, huh? And, you know, this one also, I have got one of those campfires underneath to calm the bee so I can hover the, or excuse me, hover. <laughs> I can hover. I just ruined my crop there. I can harvest it without any problem. Let me go repair my crop before I forget about it. While I do that, um, yeah, like I said, it works the same way. And I can come harvest it with either the bottle or the shears. In fact, you probably want to have proof that I can actually do that. I don't think I have glass. I can't use the bottle, but I should have shears. I should have shears in here. Yep. Okay, let's use the shears. And if you use shears, you get honeycomb, and you can't eat honeycomb. That is for crafting more beehives only, um, or making a block, I think. But if you use a glass bottle on it, and you get honey, you can eat that, just like it were food. So let's right-click on it. Should we wait? Let's wait for the bee to come out so I can prove that he won't attack me. See, if this campfire wasn't underneath, and I tried to harvest the honey from it, 
The bee's eyes would turn red. Any that live here are in close proximity, and they'd all attach me, sting, attack me, stinging me. Now, if you are being chased by bees, there's two things you can do. One, just run far, and once you get out with so much distance and they can't see anymore, then they forget about you and go about their business, and then you can return and not mad at you again. Other than that, they will not swim, so you can run for water and dive underneath, and that's another way. Okay, so the bee's out. Let's right-click on it. Just harvest the honeycomb. Look at the bee. He's not mad. Okay, good thing for that campfire. And I got three honeycomb, and I think you get three honeycomb every time, which exact is the exact amount you need to make one of these beehives. And to do that, if I come back and get some wood, I'll just show you real quick. It's so easy. Put the three honeycomb here. Da, 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 and we have another beehive. Now the reason why you may want more than one beehive is because, I, if I remember right, you can only have so many bees living per beehive. So what I'll do is I'll put one there, and then I'll probably put like another one here with another campfire. So I'm going to put the campfire there. Let's go get another campfire. And I always just put the campfire one block directly underneath. It works quite well. Don't I have more? Yeah, I do have more charcoal. Okay. Then I need sticks and logs. Okay, let's make another campfire. Now you're seeing how the campfire is made. Yippee! Let's go put this campfire underneath. Calm the bees. Boom. And then put the beehive down. Boom. That's all there is to it. And then I can bring more bees. Um, Let's see, one thing I didn't mention yet about bees, how they work, is the breeding process. Um, it's really simple. All you need is two flowers. If you hold them in your hand, the bees will actually follow you. This is another way to get bees to follow you away to your new place. You don't have to use leads. If you just get flowers, they'll follow you, kind of like you make sheep or cows follow you. Except bees are faster, so they're actually a lot easier to make you follow you. And they fly. Yeah, bees are easy. And then if you want to breed them, then you just need to have at least two of them, and you right-click on it. You get the hearts, and then you're going to start to breed. Too bad I don't have another bee right here. Otherwise, I'd start breeding it. Let me go see if I can't steal away the other bee and make his home here. I'd, or there's two of them over here. I'd rather do that because I'd rather have him live here. There's one. All I need is one. Let's see. It seems like there might be a glitch or something where if you try to bring it to its new home but it's too close to its old home like um, it'll just try to go back to its old home again so sometimes it's a good idea to bring them for a little bit further away so it's too far away from them to go home that's probably one thing I didn't do smart oh here's another thing I didn't do smart <laughs> well at least the bee can fly okay has it been too long since I fed this other bee kinda weird that you feed them flowers come here let's see what happens are they going to breed? I think they are. I think that's what hasn't been too long. Maybe it has. It's kind of weird. They should have breeded the new baby bee now. Maybe it was too late. I'm going to give you a flower. Oh, there it is. Okay, I just... It was too long. Okay, so here's a bee. Where'd the baby bee go? It's right here. Here's this guy. Okay, he doesn't seem to be... doesn't seem to be going back to his old home. Let me just make sure they're around this new home long enough. Okay. They should attach themselves to this new home. Okay, so it's already going around getting flowers. Oh, another thing. When you're attaching them to a new home, try to make sure that the home is empty, just so they're more likely to go in. I don't know why it just seems to help. So there's no honey in there. Okay, so the, all three of them are getting pollinated. Oh, see the white specks on them now? That means he's pollinated. And why is he going that way? Okay, so that bee came home. Those two bees did not. They're just running away. Let's give them some time. Nope. Okay, let me hold a flower. Come here. 
I'm gonna make this your home whether you like it or not. <laughs> Come on, older bee. Shear this beehive. Okay. Is that the baby bee that went in there? Let's make sure this works. Waiting for you guys to get pollinated. <laughs> he goes in. So two of them have gone in. Oh, did the other one, he just went into the... No, he didn't. Okay. I thought he went in over here. Okay, so... As you can tell, the pathfinding isn't exactly perfect, I think. Oh, there he goes. He made this place his new home. Okay, so it works. So now all three from here are home. I guess sometimes having a couple beehives around makes it a little bit easier for them to find homes. Sometimes it just takes time. As long as you don't have the old bee nest too close, they shouldn't go ever go back to it. Okay, now they're in there, making their honey. And they'll come back out. And maybe I should replant this so that they can pollinate it again. It's like I said, they just like to go to the nearest flowers. And every block they fly over, they pollinate, and the area grows. That's why it's nice to have a bunch of bees. And they spread out and grow your crops faster. Kind of nice. Okay, well, that's kind of the general gist of it. I mean, anything else... As far as how bees work, you know, that's pretty much all that they're programmed to do. Anything beyond that is pretty much just, you know, like the glitches and things like that that we all have as of yet to learn. Kind of fun. Well, okay, that's all. And now you know how bees work in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs>